Ladies and gentlemen, to follow up, Personhood USA is Colorado Personhood campaign and sponsors Garcia, Guave Garcia Jones and our very own Colorado Right to Life Vice President, Ms. Leslie Hanks. Give them a big welcome. Well, what a thrill to see everybody here today and the weather. Oh my gosh, what an improvement from our press conference this morning. Praise God. Um, you've heard it before, but we can't tell you enough. We're in the final push to get every signature possible to get our measure on the ballot this fall. And it's going to legally protect every baby from the beginning of biological development. Don't you guys agree that every baby in her mother's womb deserves a birthday? Amen. I've got a homework assignment for you. We want you to go home, turn on your computer, pull up Personhood Colorado, click on videos and watch the oral arguments from Roe v. Wade hearing and hear Harry Blackman explain that if the fetus in the womb is established to be a person, the case for Roe collapses. Now I don't know about you guys, but I've been at this since 1986 and I'm going to be 60 years old. And I want to see abortion end in my lifetime. Yeah. I hope you guys agree with me about that. Yeah. If you haven't signed a petition, do not leave here today without signing one. I've, I'm about to turn in a thousand signatures. And I, but I've got two more to fill. So I have about 50 slots available today. So come see me if you want to sign mine. But if you can gather signatures of your family and friends, Take a petition with you today. Go to your pastor and ask him, please, pastor, will you mention it from the pulpit that we need you to allow our church to sign the, the petitions to get it on the ballot. We're down to the count, guys. We can't do it without you. Go home, watch the row oral arguments on YouTube, share it with all your friends, help it go viral. We can make that thing go viral, and that is going to get us what we need. Lori said it at, the, at our launch, Lori, our vol wonderful volunteer from Loveland, she said if everybody that voted last time gets one friend recruited, we win. And we can do that, can't we? Doesn't every one of you know a pro-lifer that will vote for it this time? And will not believe in the goofy lies that the other side likes to tell? Anyway, we need these turned in to the Personhood Colorado office by February 5th. So you can do it. I know you can. We did it in 08 with Christy and Keith's leading. We can do it in 2010 with Guabe and God's Grace. We're going to be on the ballot this fall. Thank you so much for being here. God bless you all. This is awesome to see all you guys here. Um, I'm, uh, I just feel incredible right now. Um, I went to law school in Washington, D.C., and so every year I went to the march, and I was surrounded in law school by people who believed that it was okay to kill babies in the womb, and then I'd go to the march, and I'd see all the young people, all the Catholics, all the Protestants, everyone coming together and really standing up, and it's, just, it's, it's so inspirational. I'd like to thank Bishop Conley. He's been a great uh, supporter of life. All the holy priests and deacons and sisters, and all of our Christian brothers and sisters, we really need to unite behind this cause. Uh, the babies in the womb, you know, they don't have theological differences with anyone. They, they just want to live. So let's all unite. Um, let's work for this. Uh, this morning, uh, it's a shame that Eduardo Verastegui, the star of the film Bella, wasn't able to be here, but he made a huge commitment, um, a huge sacrifice to actually come. He came last night, late at night, and then he left right after the Mass. Um, but he spoke of something that's really, I think, another sign of hope. Um, did, did you guys know that in Mexico, over half of the states of Mexico have passed personhood amendments in the last two years? This is, this is a reality. Uh, they're actually saving lives in Mexico through this effort. This is not a pie in the sky. Americans are good people. I know this, I'm an immigrant, I have the perspective of an immigrant, and Americans are very good people. When there's a disaster somewhere in the world, we give. So let's, let's show the world that we can also learn from Mexico, let's follow Mexico, put these amendments on the ballot, stand up for the pre-born children, and uh, let's, let's never give up. Let's, all of us, if, if we don't make it on the ballot this, this next time, let's come back and let's do it again. Yes. You know, athletes, they never give up after the fir first race. How many, how many, uh, 
uh, Olympians have broken the world record in their first race. I don't know of any. Um, so we need to come back, we need to persevere. That's something that the pro-life movement needs to do. We need to keep going. We have the truth. As the bishop said, we have the truth, we have the science, we have God, and we, let's, let's work really hard for this, guys. We have three weeks. Please take a petition. God bless you. I, I love all of you. This is a labor of love. We're so privileged to be able to work in this. Um, we love the women. We love the babies. We love the dads, too. You know, there are a lot of post-supportive dads out there. Um, so let's change the world with love. It's been done before. It was done by 12 people, I think, that followed Christ, and they, they changed the world. So we have more than 12 people here, right? Yeah. All right, well, let's go out there. Let's get some signatures in the next couple of weeks, and let's make a statement to the rest of the U.S., and let's get personhood on the ballot. God bless you. Yeah.